Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what list view control in ASP.NET. So, what the list view control? So, it displays columns and rows of data and allow sorting and passing. So, let's uh, see the example. So, at here, I am using Microsoft Visual Studio. Now, here, after go to toolbox and here, write list view and drag this one into the form now here the first thing you need to select at your data source so at here click on new data source and here i am using microsoft sql server so you can use at your different source so let's select at your database you can use entity link object map and XML. So going to use add your database. Now click on OK. And here after the next is going to disconnect and here connect and here let's copy the server name. Now here after click on new connection. So if you are using first time here you can keep the connection name. So at here by default it's the data source Microsoft SQL Server. If you click on change here you can select or data source like Oracle, MySQL, also. So going to select at here SQL Server, click on OK and here give the SQL Server server name. So this is the server name and here paste. Now here after you need to select add here SQL Server or you can use Windows. So if you are using Windows for the SQL Server, give the username and the password. Now here after you need to select add here database. So going to select add them. Now here after click on test connection. Add here connection succeeded. Now here after click on OK. Now here after let's connect, connect with Microsoft SQL Server, click on connect and here you can see desktop usb it's come there. Now click on next and here after click next. Now here after you need to keep at here a specifying custom SQL Server or a stroke procedure you can use custom SQL statement or restore procedure. So if you select this option here you can select add here table or views. So at here I am going to select select dpt table or you can select any other whatever you will you can like. So let's you can select add here EMPA table also. So this is all columns inside EMPA table. Now here after the next is here SQL Server, here you can find Adam database and here you can find add here this is the table. So if you right click and here you can select thousand. So by using this here you can see the record inside EMPA tables. Now here after click on next here test query. So this is the record. Now here after click on finish. Now here after after selecting this, so here you can uh, if you want then here you can change the data source also by clicking configure data source and here after if you select this option configure list view. So if you select add here configure list view, you can by default it's a grid no formatting. So you can select add here title. So this is the title of preview. Now here. This is the bloated flow and your single row. So I think uh, add here or title is looking fine. Now here after you can make that colorful blues here professional. So let's select add here or blues. Now here you can use add here enable pacing. So here if you enable pacing now if you scale down here you can find next and last. So if I disable, so it's gone. So let's uh, select add here enable pacing option. So add here this, it come add here in last. Now here you can select add here title and here single rows. 
So this is add here, next and dot is come to here. Now here after the next is click on OK. So add here this is employee ID first name. So this all columns there. Now here after here after you can add here use current view. So current view add here it's a selected runtime. You can use add here. If you select add here alternative template, so design changed. Now here like this, you can use add here edit template. So this is edit template. Now here after empty, so no any. Here insert, so this is insert here template, or you can use add here item template. Now selected template. So you can, whatever you like, you can select add here. So let's select add here edit template. Now here after here current value. So by default it was add here runtime. You can select edit template anyone whatever you like. So whatever I did changes add here. So it's so directly affected add here using web form. So whatever I'm doing, so it's so on web form. So this is not required, not using. Now here after let's go to source. So whatever I did changes add here. So it's so directly so many things added inside add here webform.aspx so here you can see alternative template fasting so all the columns it's come there so lots of things added now here after let's go to designer so these things add here i want into the browser so let's click add here IIS Express and click on so by clicking this add here so waveform for it's now running will be run on the browser you can see EMPL table records so add here employee ID 100 name is Steven add here last name email phone it's all on display so add here 100 is Steven King and here this all those things it's the display on the browser so here you can see next so add here 110 next 120 so add here if you want last record so by clicking last you can see so add here you can see please pause and click here so this is the main purpose of add here list view control in ASP.NET so by using List view, we can display column and rows of data and allows sorting and tracing. Now, here after the next is here you can use add here like uh, you can whatever you like here you can do like uh, title, format, created list, and here color code blues already selected. Now, here after click on after. So this time going to use add here runtime. So this is the runtime. Now let's add script once again. This time you can find records of EMPL table different format. So here EMP underscore ID. So here this all those things here ID one note one and this all records so like here. So this time the format that has changed. So here you cannot see any like uh, facing is done. Here you cannot see. So by using uh, add here you can find a uh, different option here. So whatever you can like you can select add here. So in my next video there I will discuss about editing, inserting, deleting on on list view control in ASP.NET. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.